Hey guys, in this video we are going to be looking at audio play playback in Titanium. So basically uh, adding mu uh, audio music into your app and then playing them. Okay, so with my blank new app.js I am going to quickly create a window. Oops, there we go, and just set the background color to white. Okay, and in this video, uh, for the purpose of this uh, tutorial, I am going to be creating uh, two uh, switches and two labels. One's going to say uh, short sound, one's going to say long sound or something, and then I'm going to play two uh, different audios with different length. So let's create a uh, label one, or actually short label equal tie.ui.create label and text is going to be short sound uh, it's going to be at the top so 12 pixels on the top uh, and the height and the width is just going to be auto okay now the next thing I want to do is create actually another label short label copy that paste it over here, I'm going to change the name to long label and the text is going to be a long sound it's going to be at the bottom so I want the top to be changed to the bottom and the rest is going to be the same now the next thing we're going to do is create a switch because we want to turn on and off our audio so var a short switch switch equals tie.ui.create uh, switch and inside here what we're going to write is I uh, want my first one which is a short to be at the top actually yeah because the label is at the top so I want it to be about 35 36 pixels on the top Let's say 35 I want the default value to be false and uh, I think that will do Yep, and I'm going to create another one var long switch equals tie.ui.create switch. Maybe I should have copied and pasted that. I want it to be at the bottom, 35, and the default value is false. There we go. Okay, what we're going to do now is going to create an event listener for our switch. Okay, so I'm going to give it some space, some that my code is actually at the middle. And let's say uh, what was our name? Short switch and long switch. So short switch dot add event listener. And we are going to be listening to or looking. Yeah, we're going to be listening to the change of the switch from on to off. And for our callback function, we are going to say uh, var or sound equals tie dot u no not ui media dot create sound like so and in that thing we are going to set url to this uh, media now i am going to make this an uh what do you call it a remote music so what i need to do before i add my url is actually add uh music into my resources oops there we go. Hmm? Apparently I don't need this. Yeah, that would be, that's better. Okay. Uh, let's ignore that for now. Okay, I am going to add uh, audio into my... Come on. There. Into my resources folder. So I've got my untitled folder, which has uh, two music... Uh, two MP3s. One called button, one's called BG noise, which just stands for background noise. And I'm just going to copy and paste those two into the resources folder, copy files. There we go. And it's over here. Now, uh, if you don't have like a short and long MP3 uh, sounds, you can just uh, Google free button sound or free click sound or whatever and there's loads and loads of free resources just lying around for you okay so this is going to be a short 
a sound, so I'm going to say button.mp3. There. Now, uh, if you're... Uh, what, do you, what do you call it? Why is this going like that? That's not better. Hmm. I'll look at it in a minute. Now, why, uh, if your music or file isn't called button.mp3, you need to change it into your uh, name. And also, uh, if you normally, if you're creating a, a real app, you'll actually put these inside uh, a folder called media to so that you can differentiate between like the default app.js files and the media files. Because if you put everything into the resources file, the resources file is going to get really uh, big and busy and crowded and whatever you want to call it. I'm annoyed by this. Oh, I hate this error sound. Okay. I hate this error message. I'll be back in a sec to see what's wrong with this. Okay. For some reason I had, uh, what do you call it? A curly brackets inside, uh, normal brackets were didn't supposed to so I have no idea why, but I've got these three closing brackets. So I'm going to delete one curling brackets and that's better. Okay, uh, so I created a variable called sound, which is, which creates a sound, and the URL is button.mp3, which is over here. Now the next thing we're going to do is create an if statement to see uh, if the switch is on, we want the music to play. If the switch is off, we want the music or the sound to not play. So we are going to say if e.value equals true, or you can just shorten it and say if e.value um, audio, no not audio, sound dot play. And if it's not, so else, sound dot stop. Like so. So we have a variable called sound and if our value of E, which in this case is the value of our long uh, or short switch, is true. So if the switch is turned on, we want to play a sound and if not, we don't want to play a sound. And we are going to do exactly the same thing for our long. So let's just copy this, paste it in, and let's change this to long switch, uh, create sound. I'm going to change this URL to BG noise. And all the rest is the same. Okay, so once you've done that, what you want to do is just quickly add a win.add short label window add add uh, long label oops come on uh, win dot add a uh, short switch oops I'm not doing well uh, the short label has a big L doesn't it yes it does okay so I need to actually did I do it right yeah, I did it right, so it's fine. Win dot add uh, long switch, and lastly win dot not add open. Okay, so I'm going to save my app dot js and uh, run my phone simulator. Okay, I made two stupid mistakes. One was if you go to your add vent listener and go to your variable sound, it says tie dot media to create sounds, but apparent uh, but uh, it's actually create sound. So not create sounds, which I accidentally wrote, it's create sound. And another one is at the end, I just accidentally forgot to add a dot in my last window add, which screwed up my uh, app. But apart from that, all is fixed and it's working now. So we have two uh, switches, one's short sound and long sound. And basically if I play this, if I turn it on, it's going to uh, run that weird button a sound that I put into my resources and if I also go to my long sound it's going to play the background noise of apparently an airport like so I'm not sure if you're if you could hear it really good because it's a bit small but there we go it's a sound of an airport now the reason why I did this for both short sound and long sound is if I actually try to turn this thing off the audio is not going to turn off. This is because the create sound uh, object is actually used uh, normally for, for uh, just short sounds like this button. Like so. So even if I turn it on, 
it doesn't really matter because the button uh, music is already played. Now because this long sound is I think over 30 seconds long, even if I turn it on or off, it's just going to keep playing. So this uh, tie.media.create sound is, uh, is uh, useful for uh, like small tick noise, small button noise, small, I don't know, hooray noise, and not for uh, background music and stuff. So that's the reason I wanted to show you those, those, which is why I created one for short sound and one for long sound. And the long sound is actually, oh, it actually stopped now. So that was a bit long. Uh, yeah, but if I play the short sound, it's going to stop because the music file is only about uh, two seconds long and yeah, so that doesn't really matter. So the create sound uh, object is used uh, mainly for short sounds. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you liked my video, please do the usual like, favorite, subscribe, comment, whatever. Uh, it really helps. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.